Hello everybody and welcome to this very short screencast on how to plot vector fields with MATLAB. Um, to show you how to do this, we're actually not going to go all the way down into MATLAB's command structure. We're instead going to use an M file that was posted up to the MathWorks Incorporated uh, website to their file exchange. I'm not sure the author's name of this uh, M file, but it was posted up there free for use and so we're going to not reinvent the wheel and use this, uh, this uh, M file instead. It's called VectLine. I'm pointing to it right here. Uh, I've distributed this to your professor and so all you got to do is take this M file and just place it in uh, your favorite folder for MATLAB files. I happen to have this in my inbox folder. You can put this in your MATLAB folder anywhere where MATLAB can see it. Just to call this up for a second, this is a function M file. Uh, it's somewhat complicated. We don't have to worry about the guts here, but I will uh, sort of show you how this works. This is a function M file and it's a little bit different in that it uses a part of MATLAB that you have never seen before called the symbolic toolbox. Uh, as you know, um, MATLAB is uh, particularly uh, was, was basically invented to do numerical calculations, but there's also an add-on to this that helps to do symbolic calculations as well. And uh, we didn't ever deal with that in the MATLAB course, but now we can actually use it. Uh, to use the symbolic toolbox, I have to define what my variables are going to be. So I'm going to do a very quick, uh, simple vector field plot here. Um, and and uh, the variables here are going to be x and y. So if I want the variables to be x and y, and I want them to be symbolic variables and not vectors with numbers in them, I have to type sym-s for sims or symbols, x, y. I'm just going to hit enter when I do that. And you might notice over here in the workspace, you got a little icon here. X and Y are not uh, vectors like we're used to plotting, but they're actually symbolic objects that MATLAB can now work with using this thing called the symbolic toolbox. Okay, so that's the first step in using this M file is def to define your variables x, y, or R and S or X, Y, and Z if you want a 3D one. Uh, now I need to define the vector field itself. So I'm going to use uh, the do the vector field Y equals uh, uh, negative Y comma X. So F of X, Y equals negative Y, X. The first component of my vector field is negative Y. The second component is X. And so I'm going to call this thing capital F equals. And then I'm going to give it a vector um, uh, starting with the square bracket and put negative Y comma x. This is pretty pretty similar to the notation that you use in your book. And just hit that and you notice over in the workspace it's defined f now as a variable. Okay, so now uh, I can call this function vectline. The way vectline works, and my vectline parenthesis, I have to give it four arguments. Okay, and you can see that, that there in the uh, tooltip. First of all, I need to give it the name of my vector field, which in this case is just capital F. Second of all, I need to give it a vector that's got the variables in it, x, comma, y in this case. All right. Then the third variable is a uh, four by or so a one by four vector that has the minimum and maximum values of x and y. So let's suppose I want x to go from negative two to two and y to go from negative three to three. I would just type with a square bracket to start with negative two, comma two. That's the x min and x max, and then negative three, comma three. And now the last thing I need to, to uh, enter here is a number, and this number is going to specify how many vectors in each direction I want to plot. Uh, for example, if I pass it the number 10, I'm going to close the parentheses out, if I pass it the number 10, uh, it's going to plot a 10 by 10 grid of vectors uh, within this little box that I've defined here. I could change that number to 5 if I want fewer vectors, or 25 if I want more of them. But anyway, that number there specifies the size of the grid of vectors I'm going to use. So this is going to plot 100 vectors, 10 by 10. So now if I hit return, uh, there's my vector plot. And this is just a regular plot, so I can open up the plot tools window and uh, do things with it. For example, I could add a grid, I could change the color map, uh, and so forth. Maybe adding a grid wouldn't be such a bad idea. That's uh, done the same way. I don't want to click on the, the uh, numbers here. Same way we always do it, like so. I'll clear that out. And let's do another example using a 3D vector field. And so uh, I'm going to type sims uh, x, y, z. I'm going to use three variables this time. And, uh, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I want my vector field this time to be, uh, let's see, what's a good one for a nice three-dimensional vector field? Let's use um, x squared, y squared, z. Now notice uh, there I'm not using the dot squared on that because uh, the x here is not a vector. It's a, an actual symbolic object. So squaring like you would normally type it in actually works this time. So now I'm going to type vect line f give it the, uh, a vector with the variables that I want, x, y, z. Now I have to give it um, six arguments. So let's, let's go from negative 2 to 2 on the x, negative 2 to 2 on the y, then negative 2 to 2 on the z, and let's have it do, let's make it smaller, like eight 
uh, eight uh, vectors. This is going to be eight by eight by eight. It's a 3D vector field. And see, there it is. It's not very uh, legible because of all the vectors, but we can pick this thing up and spin it around and see the, uh, the flow of the vector field. It's a little slow because it's got so much stuff to plot that you can really see it. Uh, maybe I'll call that one more time with fewer of them, like half as many. Change that eight to four. Grab my figure, and okay, that's a, that's a little bit easier to see what's actually happening there. See the flow of the vectors. Okay, so VecLine is going to be uh, our standard tool for this. There's another way to do this, but it's a little more complicated. So why reinvent the wheel? Let's just use uh, some good M file coding that somebody else has worked up for us. Have fun with this. Good luck.